And myself, Sheena Cundy. Um, <clears throat> I'm in the tree house at the bottom of my garden on the southeast coast of the UK. And Wendy, where are you? And I'm in Mid Wales. I'm in Ceredigion. Um, I'm actually in a room in in my house because actually it's cooler here. Um, I live in a stone farmhouse, so um, it, oh. I'm in the coolest place in the house today. So you're in the fridge and I'm in the oven because in the treehouse, <laughs> let me tell you at the moment, it is like a microwave. We are experiencing a very hot summer's day here in Essex. And I have to have all the, I haven't really got any windows that open and close in here. They're all kind of perspex windows. <laughs> um, I've got a door. Of course, I've got a door, but I'm, I'm having to keep that shut because um, the... Uh, the, the light I've got otherwise I've got too much light and it affects the camera and all that and everything I just look pasty so um yeah I'm I'm hot so um I'm keeping myself cool with um lots of ice at the moment so <laughs> welcome everybody to the Witchlit show um what is Witchlit Wendy you describe what Witchlit is so Witchlet is Witches Who Write. It's um, magical writing of all sorts across all kinds of genres. Um, so whereas you might think because it's witch lit, it's just literature, it's just prose, but it isn't. It can be poetry, it can be song, it can be non-fiction books. Um, anything that's creatively created by witches is witch lit. Um, and uh, we're part of a witchlit group on Facebook. Sheena and I and Laura and Ruth are the admins on that group. Um, and which is growing all the time, isn't it? We're all we're getting requests all the time from people who want to join us, um, supporting um, other witchlit creatives. So Sheena is a, a songwriter as well as an, an author um and yeah so sorry carry on you were just going to say something and i stopped you in mid-sentence <laughs> the wendy this is the thing about witches isn't it is that we are so creative um <laughs> this is kind of a commonality across the board of witches is that once you get into your you know you've got your art and if you're working with the energies of earth and and air and fire and water and you're you're walking your talk of the craft every day integrating that into your life it does have a massive effect on your creativity and um yeah so we're the witches who write and i write songs short stories long stories um and wendy does the same uh, although she doesn't write songs, she danced to songs, dances to songs, because you're a dancer. And um, talking about publications in in the in the Facebook group, we have just released our first anthology, and we bought that out at Midsummer, which was a couple of weeks ago, on the solstice. And I'm happy to say, so far we have sold 90 copies online of our book so that money all the proceeds are going to a charity called books for africa and books for africa is a, a charity obviously in africa but they they um laura one of our uh, admins in the in the group her and her daughter heather a couple of years ago volunteered um at a warehouse near where they live in in georgia atlanta and um, where they were helping to um, stockpile books that were going out being shipped over to schools, rural schools in Africa, which um, invariably is where a lot of the children, they're the only books that kids see yeah, or, or, or and read. So it's a very worthwhile um, charity. So we're, um, we're, we're raising money for that. So, um, anybody that that wants to go online and buy that 
um, ebook. It's very easy to do. Just look up Witch Lit Words from the Cauldron. I will put the link in the show notes underneath this video. So please do. You'll be really helping out a worthwhile cause. And um, in social media, again, any of the anybody that, that um, wants to help us to promote it. And um, what was the hashtag on Twitter, Wendy? At Books for Africa. At Books for Africa. Hashtag um, Books for Africa on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And just basically, yeah, just basically spread it all over the Internet and um, get it get it seen and get it visible because vis visibility is the is the thing. And if you have read the book, then we would really appreciate a review. Um, you know, just a few sentences, few words on Amazon, um, because it really does help to get the get the book off the ground. And, and, you know, the more discoverable it is, the more we are opening up to more readers and, and people can enjoy it because it is a good it is a good little book, isn't it, Wendy? It's a great book. Yeah, you've basically got the, the content is 20. You've got 27 little gifts, 27 yeah. little boxes of magic. Yes. Um, written by 23 different authors. So there's got to be something for everybody in there. Um, we've had three reviews so far. Everybody's thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's definitely a, a really good idea. Um, as Sheena was saying, I write short stories as well as novels. Um, and I'm, at the moment, I am writing more short stories when we get on to talking more about our topic of balance, because um, I've got a lot of other things going on in my life. Um, I'm writing more short stories at the moment rather than being able to fill my head with the novel. And it's a really good way to spread the word about witch lit um, as well as spreading the word for Books for Africa. So it's a win win all round, isn't it, Sheena? Yeah. And the good thing about the publication as an e-book um, with ebook publication, you can put live links in in the ebook. So at the end of everybody's stories or poems, um, and then we've got one essay in there. Um, we've got all the authors links to their Amazon pages, their other books, their websites. Um, so that means that should you like a particular story um, and like the style of a particular author, you can immediately look them up and check out the rest of their work and where you know where you can buy their books and see what other other stuff they do. So it's it's a it's a really good you know the digital marketplace now um, presents so many opportunities for all of us, and I think that you know we've got to we've got to embrace those opportunities and make the most of them. Um, so we're hoping that that our anthology uh, helps us to do that. And uh, who knows, we might have another one coming up in the future sometime. But um, yeah, so that's our Witchley Anthology, Words from the Cauldron. And um, in the broom cupboard today, we are really discussing, Wendy, what have we been doing? Because we, the last time we, our, we had an, uh, an episode go out, we interviewed Rachel Patterson, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, and absolutely. That was a month ago. So what if, what's the last month? held in store for you what have you been doing well, I've been doing, <laughs> writing wise um, well writing wise um i have been writing my fifth um lizzie martin book so it's the fifth book in the series so i'm i'm writing um the able witch at the moment which i'm thoroughly enjoying but just in this last two week period um my life has kind of been turned upside down and my daughter is going to be joining me from Essex um, at the beginning of August. So we're on a big mission to get the upstairs of our house um, changed from being somewhat barn like because up until two weeks ago, it was still open to the thatch um, and turn it into a bedroom for her. So we're full on with that. Plus, because the weather has taken off, um, my vegetable garden has also taken off. So um, I'm basically <laughs> picking picking spinach and giving it away because I've just got so much I can't cope with it. So that's all been going on. Um, 
I'm also I'd also started teaching a new dance class in uh, Aberystwyth on a Thursday night. So rather than just teaching uh, two nights a week, I was teaching three. So adding that into the schedule. Um, but I've been writing short stories. I wrote a flash fiction uh, which has gone in for a competition in September, which I really enjoy. I, I think um, I think to be so focused on a small amount of words is 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 awesome. Um, I I don't mind um, having a title or something to work from or or other ideas as far as short stories concerned. I absolutely love it. Um, and I've really found, and we we were talking about this earlier, that having the links at the back of um, an anthology or wherever my short stories end up does send people um, to my um, my pages. So um, and you know and and sends people to my books, my other books. So and which is lovely because then it means that once somebody has discovered your writing style and if you've already got a bit of a back catalogue of books you know that you're going to be able to keep your readers and then once they get over to the block hope blog hopefully they'll sign up for my newsletter um and then you know they'll want they'll want to then receive the books that i write in the future so so i think i think writing short stories is is a is a really good way to do that i put myself on a short story writing course of my own design a few years back and wrote 44 stories in a year um, and that really helped me hone my skills and definitely helped me writing my novels as well so you know um, I think I think sometimes people kind of knock short stories and I don't think they should I think I think they can be be really you know be really pertinent um Absolutely. but you write poetry as well as song don't you i do and um i'm I, I count myself lucky that i've got those different formats that i can write in as well not only the novels but the short stories and the songs because like as you say when you haven't got when life takes over a little bit more and you've got more um demands on your time um you can still write but you can do something shorter so I'll write a song or I'll write a poem. Um, so I'm still writing because I think once you're a writer, you can't stop writing because you you've just got all these ideas and inspirational yeah. things. It just it does that never stops, does it? So the more you the more formats, the more the more way you can express your your words, then the better. But <clears throat> talking about my writing um schedule at the moment um it's it's gone a bit haywire because i've given myself a deadline i gave myself a deadline sort of almost three months ago now um <clears throat> to for a pre-order with amazon for my third book in my witchlet series and i'd written it and i knew that i just got to get it out to beta readers it had to come back i've then got to so i edited it kind of roughly sent it out to beta readers who were only a handful but you know you're still asking people to read your work and I appreciate how much time that takes you know it's it's a big ask isn't it when you're asking people to read your work so but you then have to wait for that to come back so luckily I had um, some time away with my band my husband we went to Stonehenge um, to summer solstice festival which was great fun and I timed it so that my novel was with beta readers for that week. And then I came back from that and um, I've got the, the feedback. And now I've got like two weeks, two and a half weeks to do the final edits on this book. Um, I'm trying to sort the cover out at the moment with a designer from Fiverr, which is a, um, a very good website for, you know, if you haven't got a lot of money, <laughs> And basically, my covers cost me a tenner. Um, and I work with this graphic designer who's lovely, but it's all very sort of, you know, short and sweet messages. Um, and you, you've got unlimited revisions. Um, but, you know, uh, yeah. Um, so I'm working with her at the moment to try and get a cover. And I've 
just started the final round of edits on this um, 21 chapter book, but I've got like two weeks left before the deadline. And um, before that deadline, I want to have the ebook published and I want to be able to have the paperback done as well, because at the end of this month, um, I'm going on a writer's retreat, Wendy. I'm going Excellent. to Ed I'm going to Edinburgh um, because there is a um, an indie authors writing retreat and conference run by um, a, a, a Facebook group called 20 Books to 50K, which is an, a Facebook group run by sort of two American indie authors, Michael Andalay and Craig Martell. And um, I've been a member of the group for a little while. But I've watched these these authors and followed them. And um, I mean, they are prolific author in, in the indie author space. Um, and there's no way I can be that prolific at the moment. But I thought, you know what, I'd love to. And I don't go. I know you get out to book fairs, don't you? Yeah, your yeah, books and talks and things. But I don't go anywhere. I, I've never been to really any kind of conference or a book fair or anything. So all my writing is very sort of in the treehouse in my workspace. Um, and the only kind of socializing I do is online. So yeah. uh, it, 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 I really, love it. I mean, yeah, I'm, you'll absolutely I'm, love it. I'm really excited. It's like a dream trip for me. So I'm going on the Caledonian sleeper which from goes from Euston to Edinburgh and it's a seven and a half hour trip. Um, again, I couldn't afford the sleeper bit, the cabin, but I've got I'm actually sitting. I'm, I've got a seat which was considerably cheaper. <laughs> um, and I thought, you know what? I don't really need a sleeper. I don't need to sleep because I'm going to be so excited. I'll just be like this looking at and, and let's face it at the moment. Um, sunrise is is five o'clock four five o'clock in the morning yeah. so i'm going to want to see that those last few hours of you know scottish scenery as we you know trundle into edinburgh uh, i want to be awake i want to i want to see it so um i'm yeah i'm really looking forward to it i'm a bit sort of like oh um because you know be awesome. i know it will i know it will but it's, it's going to be a lot to take in um, I'm, I'm hoping that I'm going to get some some writing done and um, because the thing is, you see, they say writing retreat, right? But there's going to be so many people there and there's going to be I'm going to be like, oh, I'm going to be like a kid in a sweet shop. You know, <laughs> I want to talk to this person. And I want to talk to that person. So I'm going to be so distracted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, be awesome. I did I did um Swanick um writers summer school two years. Um yeah. and that was really, really good. And it's just lovely to be surrounded by authors all the time. And all you do is talk books and authors just for that kind of it's like you just sit within a little world of it. Bubble. And it's just so lovely and yeah. and um yeah really inspiring so yeah you'll love it and i do enjoy the book fairs um in wales people people really enjoy them and they like to come out and talk to you and it's really nice to talk to the public um so i yeah i mean i wouldn't say that i sell hundreds of books because it isn't like that everywhere in in you know in the small towns of wales that's it it's small towns so um, we do get a certain amount of footfall, but, um, you know, it's it's just nice to be able to talk to people about what you do, I yeah. think. And you get the opportunity to do that so much while you're away. That would be awesome. Yeah, because uh, at the end of the day, I, you know, I really feed off of live energy. I mean, I love doing these these video things and I'd much rather do um, if I'm going to be producing content online, I'd much rather do it through video you know, yes. um, and, and talking, interacting with a, another person rather than just talking into a camera by myself. I'll do that as well. But I would much rather do that than blogging or, yeah. you know, writing reviews or, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a, and I think that comes from being a performer. You know, yeah. you can't help. I, and I know that a lot of writers are introverts and, but I'm, I'm not really an introvert. I think when I'm writing, I am, <laughs> but because yeah. I'm not, just a writer because i'm a performer as well 
and to perform in front of an audience on a stage, you have to be, there's a certain part of your character that has to want to be out there. You know, you, you, yeah. you, you have the confidence to do that. You're the same, you're a dancer. So, yeah, but I never dance on my own. I only dance with a tribe. Um, I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't dance solo. Um, I've done it on a very few occasions, but I don't really dance solo. So I'm not, I'm not, a, I, I, I get just as nervous standing at my books at a book fair as I do going out and dancing. So it's got the same feeling for me. Um, yeah. I probably am a bit more of an introvert. But it's interesting what you were saying about the, um, you know, being able to still write because we are writers, so we want to keep writing. So it's about this balance. And and as witches, it's something that we, we you know, that we are basically doing all the time. Um, this, you know, the, the balancing of the elements um, and making sure that we haven't got too much of one in our lives and that we've got, an, you know, we haven't got an overabundance of another. I think that's something that we do all the time. Um, and and as far as our writing is concerned, it's like fitting that in, making sure that part of that is still there. And it's like you said, at this moment in time, your life has to be taken up with editing and getting the next book out there rather than the initial you know um creative process of the writing but that's still having books and writing in your life it's not like it's not there because yeah. otherwise the balance would be wrong well that's how I feel about it anyway that the, the balance would be same as if you said to me that I couldn't dance um you know there'd be such a big chunk missing that that it would be really hard to get the the balance you know right mm. do you the, think so it is i think i think our lives inform our writing don't they i mean if i was just sit on a on a you know if i was just tucked away in a, in a dark room the whole time writing i I, um, I don't know it's it's hard to say because i've never done that i mean when i am writing i am you know very much in my own world but if I was doing that the whole time, I'm not sure that I I would be that happy because yeah. I love being outside. I love going for walks with my dogs. I have ha I love having another, you know, other things going on in my life. The music is very much a, a big part of my life, as you know, um, mm -hmm. and and teaching as well. So I. I mean, you know, maybe those things. I'm, those things make up who you are and therefore they have um, an effect on your writing. They have to do that. I absolutely agree. I mean, one of the things that, you know, it doesn't matter how busy we are. It doesn't matter how stressed we are or whatever. We have this wonderful luxury about of being able to get in our car and driving for 20 minutes and then be able to be standing on the most beautiful beach in the world. It doesn't matter whether it's pouring with rain. It doesn't matter whether the sun's out like it was the other evening. You know, and to just be next to the sea, you know, in such a short amount of time, it, it can change the whole balance of your head. Oh. It can change the whole balance of your thinking, you know, and and I think as witches, we use that. We use that those elements. I mean, I know that I do. One of the things that I found really um, I've been struggling with anxiety um, since I stopped smoking and this you know, all my hormones went a bit ballistic. Um, I've been dealing with anxiety for the first time. Um, and so I've been trying different things to find out what might help. And one of the things that I have found is um, lighting a candle and with no in particular intent in my mind whatsoever, but just sitting, looking and admiring a lit flame so just admiring a flame and I find that brings my anxiety levels down in such a short amount of time I, I'm not sure because because that sounds a bit of a mad thing to do but as a witch to me that sounds a very normal thing to do mm. to use something around me that are out of nature to try and help with something that's part of me um so yeah I think I think we have that luxury and it's like I was saying to you earlier as well, if I'm not writing my novel, which I so want to write, got so much of it banging on the sides of my head going, write me, write me. And it's like, but if I don't do that, 
then that it's not the right time to do it because when I do do it I want to enjoy doing it like you were saying you know the writing is that important that that you have to be coming at it with the right intent which is exactly the same as our magic it's yeah. like it's all about coming at it with the right intent so yeah, yeah that's that's to me that's what life and magic is about is getting the balance right so to make me the best person I can be and to be the best person I can be for those around me. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a great one for a nap and a lot of people and I've been I've been verbally abused by people in the past who have said to me, oh, it's all right for some people that you've got enough time in your day to be able to have a nap. And, you know, I've had a lot of abuse at the time that I started napping. I was actually really unwell. Um, and having 40 minutes in the middle of the day meant that I could live a whole day. So it was a good thing to do. But now I'm self-employed. I try and fit in a little bit of nap if I possibly can, because it's good for me. It's like it's like another superpower. It's not it's not a weakness. Um, and again, I think as a witch, I can say, why shouldn't I have what's best for me? You know, well, it's about reach. It's <coughs> looking after, and it's not just about whether you're a witch or whether you're not. You know, it's about it's a huge, it's a human, basic human need. We need to be aware of how we um, can maintain and look after our own energy fields. And it's basic. You know, having a nap is recharging your energy, isn't it? Yeah. Just like, I mean, I can go out for a walk and be out in nature, and that recharges me. But if you're so tired sometimes because of, you know, whatever life has drained you, depleted you, then, and let's face it, we all get knackered sometimes. Um, then why shouldn't you just lie down and have a nap? I can remember when I was a nanny in London, and I worked for a, a barrister, and he used to come home at lunchtime. And um, he'd have like half an hour nap, but, but it was and, and he would just and that would be it. He'd, he'd have half an hour and then he'd get up and he'd go back to work. And I'd think, blimey, half an hour, is that all? But it was enough to yeah. just charge him up and off he'd go. And he worked, you know, he was a he was a top class barrister. I mean, he must have been under a lot of stress, I would have thought, probably quite a, most of the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. But anyway, so. Yeah, we do have to look after ourselves because if we're going to be if we're going to be healthy writers, then, you know, we have to learn how to um, manage our our energy in our days. And I know that a lot of writers have these stand up desks. And I was listening to a podcast this morning where um, one was talking about a, a treadmill desk. I mean, you know, I don't think I could manage that. I'm, I'd much rather if I'm gonna if I want to walk, I want to be out walking in the fresh air. I yeah. want to notice the scenery around me. I want to watch it go past me. I don't just want to have sort of like you know the same scenery around me all the time. And uh, it's like I've never been one to go to a gym because I don't see the point in exercise for exercise's sake. If you're gonna do exercise get out in the fresh air and enjoy everything about being outside not just moving the body you know but uh, enjoy what's out there at the same time um because it's out there that i i don't know about you wendy but i receive my inspiration when i'm out walking you know from, from from being out in nature and and being with other people as well you know that 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 also can help um but what I thought we'd do is just to round off our, our little show today, because we've been talking about balance and because we're witches and because this is magical writing, um, I'm going to, we'll do some cards, shall we? We'll pick some cards. Oh, yeah. All right. So I'm going to pick, first of all, or you're going to pick, okay, from the Magic of Nature Oracle, which is um, my own deck, which I've uh, published with my sister, and I wrote the guidebook. So you're going to pick a card. Go on. Pick a card? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, give it back. Right, okay. Oh, okay. 
So this is the card that you picked, Wendy. You see it? Harvest. <laughs> How, there we go. Mad is that? How mad is that? So our next celebration in the wheel of the year is Lammas. And Lammas is coming up in a few weeks time, 1st of August. So we are looking towards reaping what we've sown. And I think both you and I have been talking about it, haven't we? I'm, I'm banging away to um, publish my book. You're you're writing your short stories so yeah. they come and, and they're things that you can publish pretty quickly can't they you can see that end result quite quick you haven't got to work so for so long um what what else does that card mean to you for me that's the like you said it's fruition it's things coming to fruition yeah. um and with the journey that my daughter's been going on um, and the way that we've been working on the house and stuff like that, it's all of a sudden, yeah. Um, I think maybe we needed this kind of kick up the backside to get things finished and more underway. And yeah, so yeah, hopefully the 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 end and the fruition of some things that we've been really working for. So yeah, exciting. So this is basically. Um, a bountiful harvest would be reaping the fruits of your labours. So all the work, all the effort, all the energy that you've put into your creations this year um, are coming about now. So <laughs> metaphorically speaking, you've got your daughter coming back into your life. So she's she's the, she's one of the fruits of your labours. <laughs> Isn't she? Is. <laughs> so she's making an appearance um, and that will be interesting because the dynamics in your house, um, you know, it's going to affect your, you on it on quite a few levels, isn't it? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Um, but, but also Jazzy and I work really, really well together. So oh. there might be opportunities for new beginnings and things oh. as well. So that's, she that's right. quite interesting. Does she write? Uh, no, she doesn't write, but she dances. Oh, okay. Well, you got yeah. a new dancer in the troupe then. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. She'll be dancing with me. Yeah, that'll be oh, so cool. She'll be dancing. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. And I, I hope that um, everybody else who's watching this can can relate to this card in some way. I mean, I don't think there's a person that can't because, you know, in with the magic of nature, you've got that wheel of the year that if you can tune in to that energy um, and understand that as well as things that are happening outside of you, it's it's that internalizing the, the energy as well. And, and that, that's something that we do um, in the craft, isn't it, Wendy? We internalize that energy because I don't know about you, but I found that with my experience walking the craft, walking the, the, the path of the craft um, over time, that in, internalization of the magic becomes much, much more a part of me. It's a part of who I am. Like I think, oh yeah, Lammas is coming up. What, what's, you know, what's coming out at Lammas? What's, what, what am I, what am I producing? You know, whereas after Lammas, you've got Mabon where you start to think about actually, withdrawing that energy yes, that it's winding down. Yeah. yeah 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 oh no definitely yeah and we and also in july we always have our our most dance performances so we've got a whole weekend away and then we've got our big lamp performance here um and also this particular year my son gets married on the 30th of july as well so and then um you've got loads he, of stuff going on yeah yeah and and you know um and and he and uh his fiance have been talking about children as well oh. for the future right. you know so these are all these kind of like you say things coming to fruition it's it's really exciting times so hard work really really hard work it's been and i think the next month is going to be hard work as well for both of us mm. don't you think but but won't it be awesome when you meet your deadline, though? Uh, yeah, I hope so. Well, it, it's it can't not happen. I've got to make it happen. 
Yeah. Um, and at the moment, I, as I said to you earlier, I'm finding it difficult because we're having such a lovely summer at last. And I think it's because in England we don't get a lot of good weather like this. But, um, <laughs> when it's sunny and when it's warm, I want to be outside. I want to be outside enjoying the sunshine. So I do find it very difficult to um, focus on yeah. any kind of work inside. And so what I've been doing is I've been working at night and because I find that easier, um, as long as I can sort of get to bed before, before you know, not too late, um, because I get up and I work for a couple of hours very early in the morning, sort of six to late. Um, and I find that that's when I get, that's when I'm most productive because it's before the world wakes up. You know, as soon as you get past eight o'clock, half past eight, you know, you start checking emails, you go online, then you can say ta -da, to um, any kind of focused uh, work. <laughs> um, but, you know, I've got to get better at that. I've got to get better at that. But at the moment, it, I, I am finding it a bit of a struggle. Um, and like you, I've got a lot of other things going on in my personal life as well. So. There are lots of demands on my time, but no harvest is it? That's going to be great to me. That's my third book coming out because by the, by the time I go to Edinburgh, I want to be able to say that I've got a three three book Witchlit series. You yeah. know, to be able to take those paperbacks in my bag with me so that I can show people physically this is what I have produced over the yeah. last you know, this year, even though I didn't start writing that first book this year, the first book was written a long time ago, you know, a few years ago now, but at least I've published all three yeah. of them this year. And for me, that's quite an achievement because up until that point, I had never published myself. A short story I'd done last year, but so, and I'm finding as an indie author, and it's the, much the same with any process, I think, that once you've done something once, it can only get easier, can't it? Can yeah. only get easier. So um, yeah, harvest is is a great card. So I hope that everybody else can relate to that. And um, I think that we'll we'll round it up now, Wendy. Um, our time in the broom cupboard because I'm kind of cooking in here. I don't know about you. You're probably you're probably nice and cool, aren't you? I'm lovely and cool, yeah. But I need to get out in the sunshine because a yeah. bit like you, I've been indoors lime mortaring walls when it's been sunny outside. So this morning was the first chance I got to get out this week. Um, I got out at the end of last week, got badly bitten by horse flies. Oh, um, and then, but I, I've been lime mortaring, so I haven't been outside either. So yeah, I need to get out to the garden too. So uh, yeah, well, I've yeah got we'll find it up for today. My dogs who have, have been very good so far, but they're going to normally come sort of half past three, four o'clock. They start following me round. Uh, they follow me around anyway, but they're expecting to go out. So um, I'm going to get out now and have a nice walk and we'll say thank you for listening, everybody watching. And hopefully it's been of some use to you. Um, us blabbering on. <laughs> And if anybody that was, would, is interested in reading Witchlet or writing Witchlet, do come along and join us in, in the Witchlet group because we're quite active. We're, we're quite very approachable. It's yes, all, all levels of, of readers and writers, you know. Yeah, and do, do, do answer the question. There's, there's just like, um, you know, just a tiny question before you know you join the group and we'd really appreciate it if you answer the question because there'd be no point you joining the group if if it wasn't the right group for you so if you could answer the question that would be absolutely awesome thanks so much and thank you for watching yeah thanks so, for watching everybody bye. and we'll see you soon bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs>